Hello there guys and welcome back to Led by a Legend here with Granada and Gigi Buffon. It's been so long since I've played this. It's unreal. It's almost been a month, I'm pretty sure. But we're back at it today with some FIFA content. Obviously the change on the channel have been pretty strong. But back at it now with some FIFA. We have three games before the transfer window opens in January. So we're going to play them three today. If you have any suggestions for this career mode, let me know now in the comments down below. I'll show how much we have. £2 million, pound, possibly players moving the other way as well. Here's the current squad, as you know. Uh, but let's get into it. So, taking on Malaga in the first game. Here's the lineup. So, as you stamp it. Oh, Camacho got very lucky there with the ball hitting the referee and coming back to him. And now there's room out wide here for Johnny. Could be a chance for Malaga. Cut back and a chance here. A very good save by Ochoa to deny Malaga the opening goal. There's Cachella Gonzalez. Knocked into the path for Luciano. Oh, good feet from Luciano as he cuts inside. Now here is Cachella Gonzalez. Brilliant feet from him and Cachella. And it's a good save from Kameni. Our first real chance of this first half. And it comes right before the break. Good save of the goalkeeper on the stretch. Almost an hour played now in this game. Not been a game of too many chances. Corner comes in here. Flick towards a Choa. That's the first real chance. In this second half, we haven't played that injured here, is he okay? Let's kick him in the back of the head, that usually helps. Looks like he might be injured though. Let's get this ball down the field. Crin for company, and it comes. Ruben Fezzo's header away. Cachella lays it off. Now here's Andre Duda. Cuts inside, down the area, that's a pen. Defender should have done better. And Duda has the chance from the spot. And he's blazed it over the top of the bar, and we get very lucky here. Towards some Kravets who gets brought down there. Kravets looked like he could have been going through on goal before being fouled by the defender. Referee, we'll see how he judges this one. Is that a yellow? Or could this even be a red card? It won't have much difference with two minutes to go in the game. It is just a yellow card for Diego Lorente. But we have a chance to put a ball into the box now. Late in this game, it is Cachella to take it. Hit hard, headed away by Kone. It will fall for Andreas Pereira. Smash back in there. Lorente's header away this time. Now Ruben Vezo has it. Centre back travelling into a crossing position and can swing a crossing towards Artem Kravets. Rosales has to get it away. And that's the full time whistle. A really, really boring 0 0 draw here. It's another point picked up. But uh, I'd, like, I'd like to see better performance wise from our team. Game number two then, we take on Real Sociedad at home. Legendary five minutes, foggy conditions. Changes are Adzili and Cuenca coming in for Pereira and Cachella Gonzalez. Tabano, Luciano, Kravets. All knocked through here and Crin takes it beautifully and Crin, wow, what a save by Ruli. Three minutes into this game and almost the opening goal for us. Zili into Kravets. Pushed off the ball too easily there. Luciano did well. Sampa. Kravets has it here. And Kravets goes for the finish. And it's wide of the post. Ball clipped over the top. A little bit of room out there. For Azabal. Cross will come in. It's headed by Aramende. It's wide of the post. Ball played up behind to Carlos Vera. Cross comes in. Back post. And oh my god. How's that not gone in? Big miss for Sociedad just before the half-time whistle. Tabano's pass goes into Isaac Cuenca. Azili back to Isaac Cuenca again. Or pops out into Kravets. Azili back to Artem Kravets. Chance here for Kravets. Wide of the post. Crin into Azili. Turns beautifully. Tabanu cross comes in. Attacked by Kravets. Good strong header. Over the top though. Luciano. Adzili. Skips past the tackle nicely there. Adzili. Still Adzili going. He does have a man wider here. But still Adzili on the ball. Cuts back on his right foot. Goes to kill one. Good work from the attacking midfielder. But couldn't quite pull off the finish. Luciano, 
Sergi Sampa. Kravets back towards Sergi Sampa. Can he get his body in a nick? And he can. He's beat his defender here. Chips it. And penalty's going to be given. He played the ball into the middle. Referee didn't have any advantage there. Points to the spot. And in the 90th minute, it's a red card for the defender. Mikel Gonzalez has been dismissed. And we are the chance to win this game. We're almost a boring 0-0 stalemate for the second game in a row. Can we now nick it? It's a definite red card. Sample was definitely brought down there. And it's going to be David Lombon, the centre-back to hit it. And David Lombon wins the game for Granada. Seconds to go in this one. And we have snatched three points. Oh my god, he's broke his arm off. And there goes the full-time whistle. It is in fact a 1-0 win here. The penalty from David Lombon. With literally seconds to go on the clock. Has won us this game. And that's a big three points against Sociedad. Third and final game today then is a Christmas Day special. 25th of December. And we've got a game of football to play against Celta Vigo. The final game before the transfer window opens. Here's how we line up. Andres Pereira into Luciano. Let's turn a pace from Luciano. Break away from his man. Still Luciano. Now Andreas Pereira round the corner for Tito. The only sister is getting back in there. Crin, strong pass into Luciano. It's a good block in the end by Gomez. It's going to go for a corner. To whip across in towards Kravets, who couldn't quite flick it, but it's going to hit Diaz, and it's going to be another corner to be whipped in for us. It's Cachella delivering this one. It's floated. It's headed away. Tito now has it. His cross finds a way in somehow. Sergi's punched it. Falls for Andreas Pereira. It's hit Diaz again. Theo. Strike. Saved by Ochoa. Back to his feet, Ochoa. But Rossi still has it. Ball in. Johnny scores. Salto Vigo leads. 68 minutes played. Tabano beats his man well. It's still Frankie Tabano. Tabano's cross, Luciano, Sergi Sampa, equals this game. He was only behind for a few minutes. And Sergi Sampa gets the rebound. Tabano did brilliantly, ball blocked and then headed goalwards by Sampa. Punched by the goalkeeper and ends up in the back of the net either way. And we are level. I want to go short into Theo. Cross blocked by Andres Pereira. Hugo Mayo now has it. This cross comes in. It's turned away into Luciano, though. There's only one back here. There's not. Luciano surely has the pace. Has he got the stamina to stay away from Diaz, who's also running out of legs as well? It's Luciano still. Cuts back. It's still Luciano. And he's going to be offside. Andres Pereira. He's put the ball in the back of the net. The flag stayed down. And with 10 minutes to go, we leave this game. How is Andres Pereira not offside there? I do not know. I do not care. It's 2-1 Granada. What a turnaround. Ball knocked long by Johnny. In towards Pablo Hernandez. Ruben Vezo did well. Vezo's clearance goes across the other side of the field. It might be kept in play here by Hugo Mayo. It is. Mayo puts the ball into the box. Rossi brings it down. And Rossi goes for goal. And Ochoa wants him to make that save. Oh, it's a corner. There may be no one back again here if we can break. We have to defend first and foremost, though. In it comes. Flicked. And there is Ochoa's save. Oh, no. What's happened? No. No, 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 no. Full-time whistle on this game, on this episode, on the first half of our season. We should have won this game. What a mistake by Ochoa. We tried to just play out quickly over the top and get that ball away. In the end, it completely backfired. And Celta Vigo get a point in a game that in the last 10 minutes blew into life. But before that, was very, very stale, mate. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one very soon.